Hydraulic fracturing has brought a series of important benefits to the United States. Uh, first and foremost is it's greatly reduced the price of energy uh, and that's helped families and businesses uh, around the country in uh, really concrete ways. Of course, on the environmental side, hydraulic fracturing has provided important benefits for the country as a whole. It has uh, reduced the price of natural gas and that has displaced coal from the power generation system. And the consequence of that have been sharply reduced uh, emissions of CO2 that cause climate change, uh, and then more immediately reductions in air pollution. Uh, and those reductions in air pollution have likely led to uh, improvements in health uh, dispersed ar around the entire country. All in all, uh, the advent of hydraulic fracturing, uh, I think, has to be rated as the most important change in the energy system in the last half century. One difference with hydraulic fracturing uh, is that it's, you know, there's only a hundred nuclear plants uh, in the United States, uh, but there's thousands and thousands of uh, hydraulic fracturing sites. So it's an everyday experience uh, for many more people than, say, coal mining or uh, living near a nuclear plant. So an important question about hydraulic fracturing is what happens in local communities where it takes place? Uh, and the best evidence that we have to date is that there's a mix of benefits and likely costs. Uh, on the benefit side, you see very large increases in economic activity, increases in employment, increases in income, increases in housing prices. Uh, but there's also some evidence uh, that there's declines in the quality of life. Uh, there's a lot more big trucks driving around roads delivering sand and delivering water. Uh, there have been uh, some evidence of increases in crime rates. Uh, and then there's an outstanding sense uh, that there may be some health impacts, negative health impacts. Uh, for local communities, possibly due to water contamination, possibly uh, due to air pollution. We were very interested in finding out what are the health consequences for local communities where hydraulic fracturing takes place. Uh, and so in our study, uh, we set out to look at infant health. An advantage of in infant health is that you don't have to know where people have lived uh, for their entire life. And so we were able to obtain very detailed records on 1.1 million births in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, and we just asked a simple question, uh, for infants who are born to mothers that live very close uh, to active hydraulic fracturing uh, wells, uh, is, their health, uh, is their health compromised? Uh, and what we found uh, is that within one kilometer, uh, so that is about six tenths of a mile, uh, the probability of a low birth weight uh, birth, so that is a birth at, at a weight of less than 2,500 grams, increases from about six and a half percent to eight percentage points. And that's about a 25% increase. Uh, it's a quite substantial increase. We also found evidence that between one and three kilometers, uh, there, uh, is, there is some evidence of elevated rates of low birth weight uh, as well, although the effects uh, are smaller. Equally important uh, is that at distances larger than three kilometers, that is about two miles, uh, we find no evidence of any impacts uh, on infant health. So the bottom line from our study is that it appears that infant, the probability that infant health uh, is compromised goes up uh, most clearly within one kilometer and possibly all the way out uh, to three kilometers or two miles, and there's little evidence of any impact at further distances. Hydraulic fracturing uh, provide substantial benefits that are widely dispersed around the entire country, the energy security, the lower energy prices. But ultimately, whether or not we as a society uh, will have access to those benefits over the long run is going to rest on the shoulders and on the decisions of local communities. And for those local communities, they're going to be judging whether or not the local benefits uh, exceed the local costs.